Hi there, are you thinking about buying the IKEA smart blinds or you've already bought them and you're wanting to know how to get the best out of them, how everything works and some tips and tricks, particularly around HomeKit and using them with the Tradfree Gateway. Then continue to watch this video to find out more. Hi there, welcome back. My name is John from HomeKit Authority. This channel is dedicated to everything HomeKit news, reviews, and tutorials. If you've not already subscribed, then hit the subscribe button and also the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. So this video is focusing on the IKEA smart blinds. Now IKEA launched these last year and I did a number of reviews on them. I did my first hands-on impression and I did my long-term after five months of using them. I've got 14 of these blinds installed so I've got a fairly good idea of how they work, some of the pitfalls and how to get the most out of them. So continue to watch this video to find out more. So first of all, covering off what you get in the box and how to get started. Uh, so first of all, in the box, you get the IKEA smart blinds. You also get a number of different accessories. These include the signal repeater and charger for the battery, a remote control for the blinds, along with the batteries for the blinds and the remote, and also the mounting bracket. You also receive a USB cable, which plugs into the charging port on the signal repeater and into the battery. Now it's really worth pointing out at this point, everything that comes in the box, you can just use the smart blinds once you've installed them. You don't need a trad for a gateway and you don't need anything else. You simply can install them into your window and then use the remote to operate them. Now my one of my other tips is around the screws. IKEA don't include any in the box to mount them to a surface. Now I think this is a good idea because every different home has a different surface. For instance, in my home, I have plasterboard in most of the surfaces where I've mounted these brackets. In this current situation at the moment, you may be having these blinds delivered and it's worth investigating what type of fixings you're gonna be using. So the last thing you want is to have a number of these blinds turn up and you haven't got the appropriate fixings to put them in place. Another tip when you first get into started, make sure all the batteries are charged both in the smart blinds, but also in the remotes. What I found when I was pairing these blinds together with the Tradru gateway or with the blinds themselves, that initially when I was first installing them, yes, there was some software issues, but I also found later on down the line as the software improved and I started to install more, that I found that if the batteries were weak, the pairing process would not always work. So it's worth when you first get them, stick the batteries on charge and also double check that the batteries within the remote have got enough power. Another tip when you're setting them up, when you're setting the blind length for the blinds, don't use the remote as the instructions tell you to do so because it simply doesn't work. Use the two buttons that are on the blind unit itself. And when you are dropping the blinds, press the button about one second before it gets the position that you want to set them at because then it will respond and set them correctly. This will certainly save a lot of time and frustration when setting up the blind length. Now, the next tip, if you're installing more than one blind in your home, as I've done in a couple of my windows, you can pair the blinds to the same remote. So for instance, if you've got two blinds in one window, you can simply operate them with one remote. Uh, so you do this by resetting the blind that's not already paired uh, to the remote. You do this by holding the two buttons down until you get a flashing light on the blind unit. And then you simply pair the existing blind to the remote. And then both blinds will operate in sync and you'll be able to use them off one remote. It's also worth pointing out if you're using more than one blind, you don't need to plug in all the signal repeaters. As you'll find in the box, you'll get a signal repeater per blind. This does not mean, say for instance, you've got 10 blinds, you need 10 signal repeaters plugged in. I found that I've just been able to install one downstairs and one upstairs and everything's been fine. It's also worth pointing out that if you're having one upstairs and one downstairs, that you pair all the upstairs blinds to the one upstairs and pair all the downstairs stairs ones 
to the downstairs blinds. Okay, so if you don't plan on using HomeKit or the IKEA Home Smart app, then you can use these blinds based on all those tips without purchasing any additional equipment. You simply use the remotes to operate the blinds, whether it's multiple blinds or one single blind, and everything's good to go. Now, what we're gonna do now is step into if you're gonna be using the Tradfree Gateway and also HomeKit. So first of all, starting with the IKEA Tradfree Gateway, and the reasons why you would need it. So by purchasing a Tradfree Gateway, you can use it with the IKEA Home Smart app, which means you can control the blinds within the IKEA's app. It means that you can operate these blinds from your sofa or from anywhere within your home, and you also can use all the timers. Now, I'm not a massive fan of IKEA's app. I don't think it's that good. I still think it's quite clunky and not well put together, but it still gives you a fair bit of control out these blinds work. Another reason why you want the Tradfree Gateway is so you can update the firmware. And this is really important to keep your blinds up to date and operating at optimal levels, which is something I would recommend. Another reason is you can also use them with the smart plugs and smart bulbs that IKEA also sell in their stores and online. But the real big benefit of using the Tradfree Gateway is using HomeKit and the other smart home platforms. At my top tip, if you are using the Tradfree Gateway, before you start connecting anything up and trying to do any automations or connecting it to HomeKit and make sure the software is up to date on your devices. Once that's all done, then everything should be good to go and you're ready to pair with HomeKit. So now looking at HomeKit with the IKEA smart blinds. Yes, you can operate the blinds using Siri and you also can use the Ohm app to control the blinds and also set custom lamps and control them from anywhere in your house or if you've got a home kit hub you also control them from outside the home so if you forgot to close the blinds then you can do that remotely now the two big benefits for me are grouping the blinds together and automation. So I'm just gonna talk you through them now. So first of all, why would you want to group the blinds? Well, you want to group the blinds if you've got multiple blinds in one window, in one room, like I've got in some bifolding doors and a number of windows in the house. And you would do this by going to the OMAP and then you would go into the settings within one of the blinds in the room and you would click group together. You would select the other blinds and then they would all be grouped together after you've named them. This means you could control the blinds all in one go using the OMAP, Siri, or automations. If you do want to control individual blinds, you can still do that, again, by going into settings and using the individual control to control individual blinds. Now, the real big benefit for me of using HomeKit with the IKEA Smart Blinds is automations and scenes. Uh, so for instance, I've got them including my good night scene and also morning scene. So at nighttime at a certain point, the blinds will all close in the house. Now setting up automations is really simple. All you do is go to the automations tab within the OMAP and then follow the instructions. You add an automation. And if you want to add an automation based on time, you simply click this setting. You then select the accessories. So in this case, you want to be selecting the smart blinds and including them in this automation. Once it's all set up, then everything's good to go and it'll just work in the background. So if you set the automations up like I have for the open in the morning and close in the evening, then they will automatically just do that and it just simply works. This is useful so you don't have to really think about interacting with the blinds. You can put everything on automation and they simply just work in the background. And that's one of the biggest selling points of using HomeKit with these blinds. You also can use them in scenes. So say for instance, you've got them in a room that you've got a movie room set up in, you can tell Siri to activate movie night. And if you set it this way, the blinds would close, certain lights would come on and it would set the scene in that room. Uh, so using scenes and automations really adds value to these blinds. So my final tip, is really about patience. These blinds are not perfect. And if you follow some of these tips, then you will get there with them. Over time, I believe IKEA will fix some of the issues that still exist with them. But once I've got them all set up and working as they should do, they've been a real asset to my smart home. And to be honest, it's probably one of the best purchases of 2019 that I made. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it's been informative. Hopefully it's been useful. And if it has, 
give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to check out the rest of the channel. There's other videos that on HomeKit, particularly these reviews on the IKEA smart blinds. Also, if you've got a question or a comment, I'll leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe as it'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon.